So we're going to draw a horizontal line from B, okay, and we're going to create a surface that's parallel to DC. So I've drawn a horizontal line from B. Okay, now from the end of that skewed line AB, I'm gonna go have to go have to go parallel to DC. And I'm gonna get a point called letter P. Now what I've done is create a triangular surface parallel to the skewed line DC because line AP is parallel to that. Now I'm dropping those points down to plan. I'm going to get to plan view of that triangular surface, that lamina. Right. Now, parallel lines are parallel in every orthographic view. So from letter A, I'm going to go parallel to DC. Okay, and that's letter P. Now, PB is a true length in plan because it's parallel to the XY line elevation. So if I project along that true length line in plan, uh, an auxiliary from it, it's going to project as an edge view. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to take an auxiliary long line P to B because it's a true length and the surface APB is going to project as an edge view and it's going to project parallel to the skewed line DC. But remember lines AB and DC are not parallel. Okay, they will appear parallel in this auxiliary elevation because they projected um, because the surface APB projects as an edge. So I'm going to take my heights from elevation, I'm going to put them over. So I'll label my points. Now the two skewed lines need to appear parallel. It's so going to join A to C and A to B. So now to find the shortest horizontal distance line, I'm going to project along the X1, Y1 line, which is an edge view of the horizontal plane. So I'm going to take second auxiliary, project it along the X1, Y1 line. And I'm going to take the distances from my X1, Y1 line back to uh, plan view. Or, uh, for my second auxiliary so I'll draw, I'm drawing in my x u y2 line so mark my second auxiliary so I'm taking the distances from my x1 y1 line back to plan marking them in So I'm going to join, label those points and join them together. Now, where they appear to cross over in our second auxiliary is a point view of the shortest horizontal distance line. So I'm going to bring that back to our auxiliary elevation and it projects as a point of view there in our second auxiliary. So in our auxiliary elevation, it's going to be a true length because it's, it's parallel to the horizontal plane and in our first auxiliary and it projects as a point of line. Now we're going to bring it back to plan. Okay, it has to be a true length there too. Okay, and then we're going to bring it to elevation. And it has to be horizontal in elevation. There's a line in plan. There's a line in elevation. And now here's part B. 
length so marking in the true length determined and indicated in millimeters the true length of this line so i'm putting it into uh writing it in our first auxiliary because it's a true length there it's parallel to the x1 y1 line in plan view and it's also true length in plan view it's not a true length in elevation so there's the distance there 24 millimeters cheers thank you bye bye